Masamune Studio. I'm a sponsor builder of them. They sell model kits from Bandai and Kotobukiya, tools, paints, and even Happy Japan magazines. Pre order your P Bandai now and check their model kits on sale. Link in the description. So it's been a while since I reviewed the Gumpla. Today we are reviewing the high grade Vodom Pod. This mobile suit is from the latest series of Gundam called Build Divers Rerise. As usual, the mobile suits from Gundam Build series are based on another Gundam series. The Wodom Pod is based on a mobile suit named Wodom that appears on Gundam Turn A. This Gunpla was released on June 2020 for 2300 yen, so about 26 Canadian and 21 US dollars, which is kind of pricier than a regular high grade. So to summarize the size comparison, this is about the normal high grade size but a little bit taller because of the feet. This is what it looks like next to the SDS tray, the high grade full armor Gundam 7th, and the high grade Penelope. Comparing it to the anime, this Gunpla is picture perfect. It has a very nice steel color, it stands out in my Gunpla collection. The armaments are also complete with a triple missile pod on the right and a large beam cannon on the left. This kit also includes the plus armor for the Wadom pod. Surprisingly, there's no clear parts for this kit although it has a lot of reflective stickers. If you look close enough, all the colors in the eyes are from the stickers. This black stripe on the side as well, and there's one hidden under the back skirt. Since this Gumpla doesn't have any polycaps, you can expect some seam lines on the joints. Other than that, there are also some seam lines on the plus armor for the legs. If you want to paint this Gumpla, you better do some peg mods for the top because once you assemble it, it's really hard to disassemble it. The only hollow part in this Gumpla is the plus armor for the back. It's awesome that it's optional. Next, we will do the usual shake test. With the plus armor, the armor for the back easily got removed. And moving on to the articulation, since the plus armor doesn't add much articulation anyway, we will not cover the articulation for that. For the top part, it rotates all the way. There's a latch that opens at the back, you can put the other parts in it. You wouldn't be able to open it up without pulling the back part. For the side weapons, it can move up and down, it can also rotate, and the armor can also be rotated separately. These non-polycap joints enables a lot of articulation. Up and down, to the side as well, the other parts blocks it, but otherwise it's really good. Elbow bend is all the way to 180 degrees. Unfortunately, the wooden pod only comes with open hands, so it won't be able to hold any weapons. The flaps at the back can also be rotated. Back skirt can also move a little bit up and down. And for the leg, it can move up and down since it has the same joint as the elbow and shoulder. The leg can be blocked by the side weapons to the side. It has a really good one joint knee bend. This one is like the ankle of this Gumpla. It can only articulate just a bit of side to side. The front and the back part of the feet can move separately. By the way, the feet looks like a pterodactyl head. So if you wanna kit bash your kits, there's one tip for you. The only added articulation for the plus armor is the one for the back. It can only move like up and down as well. So in conclusion, rating this kit on its own, I would say this is a 4 out of 5. This kit is very good. There are no polycaps. It has very nice colors as I said earlier. You would notice this right away when you stare in your collection. To be honest, there's more to this kit but I didn't want to talk about it as I would spoil some part of the anime. I would take that 1 star for the big reflective and color correcting stickers. Also, I didn't really like that there's only two pairs of weapons for this Gumpla. It would be great if it comes with another pair of hands that can be used to equip some other weapons you get from the other Gumplas. So that's my review for the Hybrid Vodum Pod. Thank you for watching and don't forget to check Masamune Studio if you're in Canada and you're interested in buying some Gumpla or any P-Bandai stuff.